Folks, Thursday night, welcome aboard. You know what it is. It's time for Cacophony, our favorite soap opera. Maybe maybe a twinge of campaign in it, but uh, more soap opera than anything else. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time, welcome aboard. If you are a returning viewer, glad to have you back. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about D&D, join our Discord channel. If you want to buy cool crap like this sweatshirt, this shirt... This phone case, a duvet cover, toilet seat, whatever. Do we still uh, have Murder HoboCon t-shirts? We do. Have, oh, hey, you got the red one. Yeah, I got the nice, red one. Nice. Uh, yes, we do have the Murder HoboCon shirts are still up. We also have uh, the cred uh, designed by uh, player Carol. So if you like the cred Cthulhu campaign, that's a nice one. Up. That is nice. Uh, but we have a plethora of designs. Take a look. You can get just about anything you want. Uh, don't forget, if you want some custom dice uh, built to suit you, try the old black and white. Uh, Ooh, we haven't Cat used that one in a while. I gave it to her. She didn't want to use it. So, uh, it's just on it, me. It rolled like all your other pieces of crap. Hey. Uh, not the ones you designed, the ones you have uh check them out at pirate dog dice and of course if your game wants to smell like success like our campaigns do try a little adventure sense in your life from oddfishgames.com uh they make a plethora of colors and in different sizes these are the trial packs they make nice tins uh they even make brooch or amulets that you can uh, include your scent in so that it can waft into your nostrils all the time they also make a shine system so if you want to be just like me, only gooder, uh, check out the Shine System so they can help you learn to write better. Uh, and their How to RPG with, their, with Your Cat Kickstarter is not only 100% funded, it's taken off like a rocket. So if you're interested in that, I highly recommend it. Uh, I played it. I loved it. Uh, I think the cat chainmail option tier is done. Uh, but you can still have the name of your feline included uh, for just uh, one of the higher tiers. So check them out at oddfishgames.com. That being said, this is Cacophony. Let's introduce you to the folks for the next two hours who will entertain you, I hope. Uh, we will start off, as always, uh, with uh, this guy. You know, well, this i don't know david who are you what are you playing <laughs> it's zadar we never know uh yeah hi my name's david i play zadar on the show cacophony i'm also uh Ingve and crow of the toad town boys in the Ca calamity campaign uh you could you can usually find me on between the roles and uh yeah i'll turn up uh, on a one shot every once in a while here too so that's me folks I said, and speaking of those one shots, if you're interested in being on the show, playing a game, hanging out with us for two hours, hit us up, M Hobo Inc., Twitter or Gmail. We got a one shot this Saturday night. Can't give you much more than that, other than uh, you must be shorter than six feet tall to play this game, and you're going to be third level. Uh, but I promise it will be different uh last but certainly not least our producer normally and tonight she is doing so as well she's also playing my wife carrie uh she is my wife she's not playing the wife uh carrie who are you who are you playing yeah that's what you're saying about the runaway you have under your bed that doesn't count he, he was there willingly oh. <laughs> uh, so yes i am carrie and I'm not real good at this, but I'm playing Camille, a uh, wizard necromancer, and um, she hasn't had coffee or cheese in a long time. It's kind of upsetting for her. I know. Yeah. Didn't you get coffee back at uh, the Grand Academy? We did. Oh, that's right. We had some huh? left. That's all right. Okay, no cheese. No cheese. Maybe cheese later. Uh, hell, maybe cheese tonight. Hard to say. Coffee uh, and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Cheese goes with everything. Uh, it does. Uh, two weeks ago, folks, if you were watching, you may remember that these guys were assigned the easy task of throwing an enchanted slash cursed uh, box slash artifact into a volcano to destroy it. Did not go as planned. Uh, when they threw the box in, uh, the caldera uh, changed from molten magma 
the stone. Uh, yeah, it didn't go well. Wrong. Problems ensued. Uh, Maurice Lucinda, their trusty guide, who uh, is a castaway on this nice little island, uh, went down, helped, and uh, helped himself to a rather large cache of diamonds. Uh, in the course of the solution, uh, these guys pried the box out of the stone, reset the caldera, had to run like hell after uh, dealing with some kind of reaper demon, and uh, pretty much got their shit pushed in. Uh, don't forget, this is for mature audiences only. Uh, these guys escaped by the hairs on their teeth uh, and are injured. Uh, the volcano exploded. No lava flow, however, rocks were sent skyward and that which goes up always comes down. Uh, these guys are now hanging out with two Minotaur sailors, I will say, uh, who have been paid off by Maurice uh, for kind of saving their lives. Uh, you guys are now at the base of the volcano after riding Minotaurs down. Woohoo! Uh, Minotaur races. Yay! Uh, and now you are stuck with the box, aka the football that Zadar has. Uh, a very injured Maurice Lucinda and a pretty beat up Camille. Uh, lady and gentlemen, uh, the floor is yours. What would you like to do now that you have escaped safely and the rocks have stopped falling? <clears throat> okay. So the volcano wasn't erupting. It was just blowing off the caldera that solidified, right? All right. Pretty much? Okay. No eruption. No eruption. Well, that's good. <laughs> you don't need a Krakatoa kind of thing. <laughs> no. Ah, the temperature has not risen by one degree everywhere. No extinction yep. event. Yep. Uh, uh, I think we... we should try to... I don't know. I mean, it could be the same result. You know? And then oh, we have to do this all over again. That. Yeah, yeah, that thing wasn't that bad. You only pushed your shit in a lot. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So, are we healed, or are we still, like... We're Ooh. still hurt. Okay. <laughs> You're still her here on Ilsa de, de Corsion. Well, I guess we should probably take a rest so that we're not yeah. going to die. Zadar's going to scout the perimeter to see if I find any more bushes with the berries. <laughs> uh, no, because uh, Lucinda, Maurice Lucinda, picked them clean to save Camille from certain death after dealing with the owl bearer. Right. I right. have the private sanctum. We can do that. And you've got two Minotaur friends. Mm -hmm. Well, now, didn't you use all your spell levels in that fight? Just about. Probably. Yeah, so I don't think you have it. Well, meh. While you guys are trying to determine what's going on, uh, Maurice has taken a keen interest in the Caldera Stones, and he is beginning to move them about because while they are large... They are not overly unwieldy. Are they like pumice? They're not like pumice, mm. strangely enough. They are more like marble. Mm. It's still got to be pretty heavy. <laughs> oh, they're very heavy, but he's moving them around. He uh, has enlisted the aid of the Minotaurs to mm. go ahead and assist him. Okay. So while they're doing that, should we take a short rest? Yes, <laughs> definitely. We'll keep our eyes out while they... Play with the rocks <laughs> you can tell that maurice is not doing very well so he has mm -hmm. sat down on one of the stones and he is now asking the minotaurs to play uh marble jenga uh the, the minotaurs of course are uh newly wealthy from the uh shards of diamonds uh that lucinda had each one of you there are three very large diamonds i believe zadar's is five thousand Thousand. Yeah. Uh, Camille, I think yours was four, and I think uh, Lucinda got a three and a whole pocket full of gems. Uh, the Minotaur, <laughs> with that kind of payment, are more than willing to help this uh, human uh, 
move rocks uh, because mm-hmm. they don't have anything else to do. They that can works. buy their own ship now. <laughs> yeah, they they are actually kind of rich. Yep. So I'm, I'm sure they'll tell their captain. Oh yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, so as you guys are taking your short rest, you're starting to heal. Go ahead and take as many hit dice as you need to recover to go ahead and feel better. You will not regain any of your spells on a short rest. Uh, Lucinda will be feeling a little bit better. Uh, he is nowhere near peak. Uh, after your short rest has uh, completed, you notice that the Minotaur's strength has really helped him uh, because apparently Lucinda has been having them arrange them in a large rectangle. A large rectangle? Large rectangle. Okay. Is Ernie, so are you like planning your house? I thought, I thought the I thought the plan yeah, was to you get know, off the island. You know, there, there's not a whole lot of things that are dangerous on this island. There's a whole lot of nice things on this island. I'm beginning to think that maybe I could start a life. I could send a missive back home to my girlfriend and maybe have her join me. So I mean, this that, is, that's and, possible. And and he Oh, that's right. Oops. He doesn't. He doesn't have a. He has an ex girlfriend. Oh, okay. Ex. Oh, okay. That's right. Camille's gonna start getting pissy about guys flirting with her and having. Yeah. A... No. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. I, I. I correct. I stand corrected. Ex girlfriend, uh, because you have shown very little interest. Uh, he waves out his hands and shows you the expanse of the slope, uh, the food berries, the high grasslands, and then mm-hmm. the forest. And he goes, "This is a paradise." Uh, mm-hmm. And over on the other side of the ridge, uh, there's more fruit trees and stuff. He goes, this place is not bad. Okay. Uh, what about other agriculture? I mean, the soil's got to be pretty rich because it's volcanic, so you would think. Well, there's some fruit trees on the other side if you want to go see them. It'd be a great place to grow grapes for wine. Mm-hmm. I thought that myself. Yeah. Or they have this bean that turns into a rich black liquid. I'm wondering if I might be able to grow some of those. I mean, you, you kind of got to climb it for it, so. <laughs> Juan Valdez. If, if it gets cool at night, then yeah, you can definitely grow those. <laughs> Everybody uh, roll an Arcana check. Ooh, that's 16. 20 plus seven, 27. Uh, you both realize that you are on the same longitude or latitude, whichever is the long one, uh, of Frecklin. Now, by comparison, Frecklin is undergoing snow at this time. Uh, you surmise that you must be at some coastal split that keeps you guys wander around and he expounds on his plans. You notice that the Minotaur have enough stones for the second level of the rectangle and are kind of building it because now they are having fun. Wow. So this is like a workout for these guys. They're just lifting. Well, they're they're like this and they're Minotaur. So yeah, it's it's still a rectangle. Or the base uh, of it, how big is the base? Uh, the base appears to be about 20 feet wide by about 10 feet deep. Hmm. I mean, we could always find you a tome on stone carving, Maurice. <laughs> so, you know. But, so is he yeah. trying to build a house? That's kind he's of a like small a... house. Right now, he's just trying to build a structure. Okay. Hey, Maurice, what are you building the structure for? <laughs> well, if I stay here. You know, I think I'll go back with you guys, but I think I might come back here, especially the way these stones fit. He goes, I can probably hire these guys. You probably could. (laughs) So do these stones naturally form like this? This is from the caldera. So just poof and they fit. Well, you know, they have to pick and choose. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's a lot to pick and choose from. Yeah, these are not straight lines, but they aren't bad. I mean, these the sides would have to be softened, 
smoothed out, but right now it's a uh, rough masonry, but the rough fit looks kind of nice. I mean, it's never going to be a mansion. Tennessee, we call Cidellas, that a dry stack. <laughs> yeah, until the Sedellus campaign. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I mean, dry stacking is a form of masonry. So, yeah, there you go. <laughs> well, we still have to figure out what to do with this box. Yeah, I my, thought about that. My friends, I will go ahead and make it my life's quest to protect this box if you'd like. It really should be destroyed, <laughs> but like I said, if we try the volcano again, it's probably going to get the same result, you know. I could have more diamonds. That is true. We probably don't have any enchantments strong mm -hmm. enough to, like, lock it down. Yeah. Thing well, is, look around. Nobody knows this place is here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know, Camille. What do you want to do? Do you want to give the volcano another try? or I will go back to whatever that academy was that you guys came from and certainly pledge my loyalty to your boss. I mean, that wouldn't hurt. I mean, I think personally, I think it's just going to be the same result if we try this again. So... So, I, I think the best thing to do is go see Mortimer and try to find an alternative. How far away from the top of the volcano are we? You guys are at the base, so probably two, 250. Ugh. How always... high of a magic user is Mortimer? Who said he was a magic user at all? Yeah, he's a human. Oh, I believe okay. he is a professor, and you met him while he was on sabbatical. Oh, and that's it. In, in what city again? <laughs> I believe it was Cacophony. Oh, okay. That's it. <laughs> it looks like your Wi-Fi um, or password has changed. Zadara, do you have Wi-Fi information? Go to the Alexa app. <laughs> Check, checking on uh, Alexa. Okay, everybody. Uh, remember, if you uh, ever meet with uh, Zadar, you can always just yell, hey, Alexa, what time is it? <laughs> You're not on speaker. So. Ah, damn it. <laughs> Zadar, do you have your little creature that can go up and look inside the volcano? Mm-hmm. Uh, just take me. I, I've got the incense, so I can I can summon omen again. So and Just see if it looks any different. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I could do that. Yeah. So it takes um, what ten minutes? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, uh, Lucinda comes over to you, Camille, and asks if you have a pan of some sort or of a sack. For what? Yeah, I, I got an idea here. Mm, and what would your idea be? Well, I, I was going to take some of the uh, crushed stones, mm -hmm. move it onto the floor, and kill the grass. Mm, okay. Uh, yeah, I I got a sack i can give him an argument breaks out between the minotaur as to the functionality of the stones there's a slight pushing match uh but maurice yells at them and they snap back to work he thanks you for the sack and he goes over towards the edge of the volcano where a lot of the tinier pebbles are at and he just starts scooping them into the bag wow it's going to be some work. <laughs> He's very... What what else are you going to do? There's nothing on TV. Right. <laughs> um, okay, after 10 minutes, you know, little thing appears and it's Omen. So, Tressum form. So, send him up there. Up he goes. Uh, you're, you're looking about mid-afternoon now because <clears throat> you went up around noon uh, to the volcano. Uh, it looks like it did when you first got here uh molten lava down at the base okay i'm Steam. blind at this point so i'm telling uh camille what i see so he describes it just like it was when you guys reached the cusp earlier all has returned to normal yeah the eye in the sky says <laughs> There's no traffic here. <laughs> so, 
So does that answer your question, Camille? I mean, I'm not sure where you're going with this. Well, so did when we threw the thing in, did it fail just because of that thing that was in there? Or did it fail because of the box? If we try it again, are we going to get a different, different result? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's the only thing. I was like, if it's still like you know, covered in stone. But if it's yeah. liquid again. Right. Right. How long did well, it that's take the us thing. The, the box, other than the, the hole that, that was broken from the box, you know, I mean, the container holding both boxes, it, you know, is still intact. So I don't know if it was just, I don't know, is this thing sentient or something? You know, I don't know. I don't know what this is. How long does it take us to get back to or to the Grand Academy? Uh, I, I think it was two days, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it took about two days. I don't know, is it or what do you want to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? <laughs> uh, I kind of want to go back up and try it again. Just because okay. how long will that take? Well, um... I mean, it took us a half a day to get up there. So, I mean, it would be the same same result. So, of course, this I mean, is if, what you said it's late afternoon. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, yeah, if our Minotaur friends still want to hang out and wait for us, because they've been paid. Yeah. So, I mean, we can give it a shot. Um, the other thing that we could do is open open the outside box and try to chuck both items in, you know, at different times to see if there's find out what is reacting. Arcana check. Okay. Uh, oh uh, shit. Nine. Uh twenty one. Uh, Camille doesn't have a problem with that, but then you remember that uh, one of those items is what you got uh from the planes and opening that didn't do so hot with you guys last time i'm not talking about opening the football i'm talking about opening the, the box that mortimer put both things in so that's what i was talking about but like so, you said that, if there was that, a chance that thing comes out then yeah that, that could be a problem uh, that contains both items okay well, oh that's bad. yeah okay I, I don't know. We can give it the old college try again, but, you know. It seems like that's what you want to do, so well, we just, can do it. I'm trying to do, you know, the timeline. Either we spend two days going back, we talk to Mortimer, and then he's like, oh, you got to go back. Then there's another two days coming back here. Yeah, so I mean, just... we can try it <laughs> twice, and if it's the same result, we tell Mortimer we something's going on. <laughs> the second yeah. time. Right. right but I'm just saying, you know, if it's the same result, then we know for sure something is protecting this box. So. All right. Let's do that then. Okay. All right. I guess cool. we'll rest up and when the time is right, make another trek up the side of the volcano to the. Well, do you want to take the long rest so Camille can regain all of her spells or yes. the short rest and just risk it? Take a long rest. Uh, you can go in the morning if you want, unless you want to go up during the night. Yeah, no, that's I, not I, prudent. No, that's not prudent. So we'll 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 try to take a long rest. I mean, there's enough of us that we can keep a watch. So that yeah, sure. we can get a long rest in, and then uh, daybreak, make our trek up to the to the top of the volcano. Sure. Uh, Maurice and the Minotaurs will uh, take a break. They've actually uh put in a second rectangle uh to increase the size so it's kind of eh, starting to take shape okay. uh the minotaur seem more than willing and happy to do this uh they seem to have a real knack for construction and clearly maurice has something in his head he's taken a lot of the pebbly lava um pumice debris and uh, sprinkled it across what will be a floor to kill the grass. Um, they suggest um, 
branching out, getting some firewood, uh -huh. um, maybe scout around the area, uh, gather some fruit, see if they can do that. And yeah. uh, the Minotaur would really like something meaty to eat. Uh, so they will ask to return to the owl bear and go grab some meat. Uh, yeah, if that thing's still edible. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. <laughs> well, it's only been, what, five hours? Six hours? Yeah, that's... That's probably think... tenderized in the sun at this point. Yeah. 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 Uh, they'll go back. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, Maurice knows where there's a spring, a natural spring. Uh, he said he'll go back with the minotaurs and gather water. Uh, okay. He asks for your water skins. Uh, yeah. any containers that you have he'll do that so you guys have been assigned to get um, shelter okay. and fire uh, shelter uh, the two stacks are about two and a half feet uh, in the square and you guys can camp out there if you want okay yeah they, yeah because I mean he already started building a structure we could use that as protection and Sure. It's Shelter. not going to give you a lot of protection, but again, uh, I mean, nothing's happened. No, but uh, if it, if it's starting to shape up like walls, at least we'll have walls, <laughs> you know. Clouds are starting to build in the sky. Go ahead and give me survival checks, please. Uh, well, you could put up your sanctum. I mean, you've had a short rest. You, should... you don't get to spell back from a short rest. Oh, that's right. That's right. Uh, 14. Okay. Uh, what are we rolling again? Survival. Survival? Okay. Uh, survival is uh, 14. That's the magic uh, number. Odds are even Camille. Even Camille, you find some fruit trees. That means Zadar, you find a natural spring as well. Uh, so you both find the necessary items. About an hour and a half later, uh, the Minotaur are dragging the carcass and- uh, Did they have to bring it with them? They're hungry. It's gonna uh, smell. Not after you cook it, it's not. It's gonna smell delicious. Uh, Mark or Maurice Lucinda has also found water. Mm -hmm. Yay, we have returned. Oh, you found water yourself. <laughs> <laughs> it. You really like the meat. <laughs> Well, Camille likes yeah. her meat. That's right. Uh, <laughs> the group sits down after dinner and just swaps stories. Okay. Uh, would you guys like to add stories of your own? Sure. Uh, sure. <laughs> Persuasion checks both of you. <laughs> uh, persuasion. Okay. Uh, 21 for Sadar. 17. Uh, the two Minotaur and the castaway both really appreciate your story. Yeah, I tell uh, the story of the long night. Nice. Uh, Maurice, with a 15, uh, is also uh, enchanting the Minotaurs. The Minotaur tell a story that is a natural 20. Uh, they have apparently been in multiple naval combats. Ooh. Ooh. and sailed most of the land uh they will go ahead and tell you one of the coolest places they've ever been to is the library in nanith and what nanith nanith it is the oh. home to the gnomes mm. now they did not meet poindexter uh but they will tell of a vast desert uh, beyond Andura. Andura is a mostly dry place uh, mm -hmm. with a group of mountains there, home to the what they call bird people. Uh, and there uh, was a lot of problems with a sect known as dwarves in the mountains. Uh, mm -hmm. But the gnomes, the dwarves, and the bird people do not tend to get along. Uh, being Minotaur, they put into port. Uh, let me increase it because it's quite small. Uh, and let's go ahead and post it because I did share screen. So 
Uh, you guys are up here, high okay. north. Andorra is the desert region. Think Egypt. Uh, mm -hmm. And, and Na Naoth is the home of the capital city for the gnomes. And it has one of the best libraries that even rivals the elves. Wow. The, no the gnomes are quite enchanted about having all the knowledge that they can possess, uh, even beating uh, Sensia, wow. which you guys remember as uh, dickhead mm. elves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, that'd be something to see one day. Maybe I could get some answers uh, yeah. for some of the questions I had. But yeah, they have actually uh, sailed around both the western and the eastern basin uh of of the area known as cacophony uh that you guys are aware of so mm -hmm. as you can tell uh these guys have put some miles on uh and they just give you amazing stories of the different things that they've seen uh wow. they call the area lortranus it is an old name given to this small continent wow and they that draw. I did not know. <laughs> they, they draw this in the ash of the floor. Oh wow! Okay. And Maurice Lucinda, absolutely enthralled. Uh, he will point out that he came from the area known as Ufa, uh, and was headed towards Freckland when a storm blew his ship off kilter, and he was the sole survivor. Um, I asked. Asked. Maurice is just like, why would you go to that frozen wasteland? Uh, they have artifacts that we were searching for. Hmm. Uh, what kind of artifacts? I mean, are we talking magical kind or? Mm -hmm. It's rumored that there is a giant, fr uh, a large frost giant city somewhere hidden in the mountains. I'm told oh. there is a lot of treasure there. Oh. <laughs> We can tell you all about that. <laughs> you want to be careful about that. Yeah. So you guys spend the rest of the night swapping stories. Uh, there is nothing. The birds have all gone to sleep. Uh, the clouds are still hanging. Every once in a while, the moon shows up. It's just, I mean, there's just nothing here. <clears throat> um because he apparently killed the main predator, uh, which was delicious, by the way. <laughs> uh, the Minotaur are exceptionally grateful. They are comparing uh, the diamonds given to each uh, and, again, uh, profusely uh, thanking uh, your host, Maurice, uh, and his generosity. Uh, they suggest, however, that uh, a guard schedule be placed. Uh, they mm. do have the big pit fire. Uh, but they also point out that if nobody's noticed the smell yet, there's probably nothing on this island. Right. Uh, well, I mean, let's just set up a watch uh, just to, you know, err on the side of caution for all this. Sure. The Minotaurs will also volunteer. How did you guys want to split up watch? Uh, Lucinda, not so much. He's a human. He can't see in the dark. And his mar martial ability is worthless. <clears throat> I'll take first watch. Okay. okay. Uh, I'll take second. <clears throat> the Minotaurs will take third. Camille. Uh, about an hour into your shift, everybody has bedded down for the night. Your bellies are all full. Uh, you, of course, had a copious amount of the meat because it was delicious. Uh, and uh, you notice, off in the distance, down past the fudu berry bushes, a faint light uh, that originates on the plane, not starlight. How far away does that seem to be? 50 to 100 yards tops. Not very far away at all. I wax it R and I say, psst. Hey, there's... Right. Right. Don't touch me there. 
<laughs> There's some light over there that I think we should look at. Okay, so I wake up and try to focus, and I, I guess I see the light. Ah. Oh, she'll point it out, uh, and yeah, you see the light. It is moving towards the coastline. It's moving. <clears throat> it is moving. Okay. That is odd. So, so that's away from us? Yes. Mm -hmm. Away and to your left. How fast? Not very fast at all. Should we wake up one of the Minotaurs and then we'll go look? Uh, I mean, we can. I mean, I can... I just don't want to leave the camp with nobody watching it. Right, right. I'm... I'm probably the most stealthiest out of all of us, so I mean I can I can rush to to catch up whether it is and kind of do a little recon if somebody wants to go with me or something. Okay. So I'll go with you. Okay. All right. Um uh, yeah, I'm gonna quicken our pace. I'm gonna cast expeditious retreat sure. on both of us, and that should increase our, our speed. Now, did you wake up the Minotaurs, or are you just going to Yeah, we're going to wake up the Minotaurs before we do all this. At least now, one of them. I was going to say, keep in mind, one of them was taking third watch. The other one, they did rock, paper, scissors. The other one won and didn't have to do a watch at all. Oh, okay. Yeah, so all that right. the one that lost, we'll wake him up and let him know what's going on. Okay, he asks if you want him to go with. No, I, I want to make sure that you guys are safe here. Okay. Uh, he'll uh, start his guard watch early. Okay. So uh, you cast Expeditious on both of you. Oh, uh, uh, yes. <clears throat> now, you will be moving through unknown terrain because cloudy, not a lot of moonlight. Right. So I'm going to need stealth checks at disadvantage. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh 16. Okay. Uh, At disadvantage? For... Wow. That's not bad. Uh, Zadar at disadvantage uh, for stealth. It's 24. Uh, yeah, you guys are moving uh, fast and Ninja. low. And, uh -huh. But you notice that the damn light seems to be keeping pace with you. <sighs> and you, you are not cutting the distance. Uh, as you continue to chase it, uh, you move further and further away from camp into a rocky landscape. So if you think of where you were as this being the volcano and this being the ridge line, you are moving over here towards the coastline that you passed by when you first got here. Okay. Uh, as you continue to chase this light, it disappears. Well, son of a bitch. Well, that was, uh, <laughs> this is fruitless. <laughs> um, I can do like a quick perimeter check around us. Perception checks, both of you. Ah, well, that's bad. Uh, uh, three. Uh, 18. Uh, Camille, you don't see shit. Uh, Zadar, you notice that you guys are on the precipice of the cliff. Uh, and the light seemingly went over the side. Uh, Zadar is going to look over the side. <laughs> Give me perception check or investigation check at disadvantage. Investigation. Okay. Uh, again, 18. Those are like Zadar's stats. <laughs> Something is moving 150 down. feet down below. No light, though. Wow. Am I able to discern whether it's humanoid or... Too dark, too far. Okay. Both of you hear a bell. That's not good. Okay. Not like a big gong bell, but more of a 
like the no, bell no. on a ship? No. Uh, like a door opening a bell? Yeah, a little bit bigger than that. Okay. Cowbell? Could be a cowbell. <laughs> <laughs> I need more cowbell. Um, I, yeah, I think we should get back to the camp and tell them what we've seen. I agree. <clears throat> so, yeah, so we'll... You return the, Minot the Minotaur is garden, asks if everything's okay. Kind of uh, looks you over, make sure that you aren't hurt or anything. I, um... I inform them and tell them that just the one the other two are sleeping yeah uh, tell the one what we saw and all that so i don't know if we have visitors if someone else has landed on the island or like cowbell and he kind of lifts his head i do not smell any bovine sheep I do not smell anything but the salt air. Fairy? What'd you call him? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, um, we're not alone on this island, is the point I'm trying to make. <laughs> uh, then he's happy that he woke up. He said he will go ahead and uh, remain up until his associate's turn. Uh, if you two want to go ahead and sleep, uh Zadar or Camille, one of you can take uh, half a third watch with his associate. That's uh right. yeah. Uh I'll take half a third watch. You get as much rest as you can. <laughs> okay. Camille like uh, sleep, so she says yes. Sure. Uh morning dawns anew. Uh and the Minotaur and Zadar report no anomalies throughout the evening. Um the Minotaurs are exceptionally curious about the notation of a cowbell and asks, uh, in, re inquires as to where you guys thought you heard it. Uh, towards the edge of the cliffs. So uh, Maurice is already scoping out uh, improvements to his battlements, uh, <laughs> but asks what the plan is. Um. Well, it's daybreak, so we're going to try to we're going to try this at the volcano again. If if this goes south, we got to be be prepared to get out of here again. <laughs> did you did you want us to go? Um, how big is the box? It's just big enough for me to carry. Yeah, shoe box. So, from the volcano to the edge of the cliff, how far away is that? Couple hundred yards between each other. Mm -hmm. At the bottom of the cliff, on the sandy beach. Is it a magic cow? Does it have beans? I don't, I don't know. know. You're gonna have to go down and ask it if Is that it has Bessie? beans. Is <laughs> from, from this vantage point, 150 feet up. Uh, it looks like a normal cow. The Minotaur. Does it smell like a cow? It smells like a cow. A what? female cow. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh, <laughs> so I can is there go easy... down and check this out. Um, there is no easy way down. I, I've got spider climb and I got feather fall. So, <laughs> I mean, sure. there's. That would be an easy way. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I can cast Featherfall on all of us and we can all go, but it's getting up. That's going to be the problem. <laughs> that's going to uh, be the, a climb. The Minotaur will wait at the top in case there are problems. Okay. It's up to <coughs> you, Camille. What you want to do? Sure, I'll go with you. Okay. All right. I cast Featherfall on the both of us and we... Here, here, here. About a half hour later... <laughs> it takes about 15 minutes to get down there uh the breeze may or may not push you into the rocks so roll two d20s uh indicating your trip down oh, okay i get a 16 and a 12. no wind for you fuck me two ones whoa wow. 
uh, a gust takes you in and you hit the rocks with your face. Oh, God. Uh, but only take 10 hit points of damage. Okay. Ouch. Three, 3d8. You've got 10 hit points. So. Wow. Oh, God. Uh, you find Frank, me how right. often does that happen? Double natural ones. There you go. Uh, you guys do arrive at the bottom, and you find Bessie the cow chewing on what sparse grass there is. You notice from the cove that there ain't no easy way of getting here. Right. Right. Uh, she does have a cowbell on. Um, Ship, ships sometimes carry livestock. Yeah. But Maurice didn't mention anything. Okay. Um. Huh. I don't think the cow swam here from somewhere. So I. How far away from the cow are we? Ten feet. So I slowly approach the cow. It just chews its cut and stares at you. And I say, how did you get here? <laughs> <laughs> Can I reach out and touch it? Yes, give me an animal handling. Um, Zadar's gonna, gonna start casting Detect Magic as a ritual. Takes sure. a, it takes about 10 and minutes. Is she pretty? Wow, <laughs> okay. Comes a yell from above. We're still looking at it. Um, a 20 not natural. Oh, yeah. Cow seems enamored with you. Gives you a great big lick on your hand with its fat, leathery tongue. Um, can I grab the cowbell and ring it? Sure. You ring it. Nothing. Oh, man. I just thought of a song and it was funny. Oh, man. Okay. Doorbell by the White Stripes. <laughs> I've been thinking about my cowbell. When you gonna ring it? When you gonna ring it? Oh, never mind. I can't sing, but you know that song. Uh, this old copper bell has turned <laughs> green with age, uh, mm -hmm. but it has three letters on it B E L. <laughs> Well, it's definitely a bell. <laughs> uh, okay, at the end of the detect magic ritual, is the cow or anything on it glowing? No. The bell? Okay. Nope. All right. You said uh, it was kind of corroded, right? Mm -hmm. It's old. It's an older bell. Oh, okay. Uh, I thought, because I'm overthinking this, because I was thinking corrosion, probably from salt water or something. Maybe the cow fell off a ship. Does <laughs> the cow know. appear old or infirm in any way? Yeah. Looks like an adult cow. A again, the yell from above, is it pretty? She's a fine specimen. You want me to get rope? Sure. I'll be right back. Okay. Uh, oh. you, can, you can see the water lapping at the uh, area. It's high tide. Uh, mm. So there's not a lot of uh, real estate here. Yeah, uh, I was going to ask, how long is the coast in this cove? I mean, there's... Maybe 100 yards across. So... Uh, maybe 50 feet deep. Where we're standing at, if we look up, do we see any, like, caves or anywhere where a light could have gone? Just hmm. a sheer drop. Well, okay, we saw something moving last night. We saw the light moving, <laughs> and there's a cow here this morning. So if I trace the letters on the bell, does that do anything? Nope. Okay. DMs at home, this is when you just sit back and you watch them overthink the entire situation. We are. <laughs> We're gonna just like, okay, let's let's try to think this out. Okay, okay. there's just a cow here, so we'll wait for the yeah. guitar to come back and lift us up. Yeah. 
Uh, both Minotaurs and Maurice show up. The second Minotaur is also inquiring, is she pretty? But <laughs> don't you guys want her to be able to... Don't you want a female Minotaur? To talk? Any port in a storm. Ew. Oh. I'm okay. so disappointed. <laughs> uh, they grab all the rope. They have grabbed all the rope and a couple of sturdy timbers. Uh, it will take them about an hour to do what they want to do, and that is create a rudimentary lift, uh, a pulley system. Oh man, uh, block and tackle to lift the cow up. Uh, and you can hear them blah 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 blah. Uh, I like you, the swish of her tail. <laughs> you can tell Lucinda is interested on how they created this thing, and blah blah blah. blah. Yeah. Uh, finally, they throw a rope uh, with two prongs on it, so it's a one singular long rope followed by two loops, and they yell down to put it behind the front legs and behind the back or in front of the back leg. Okay. Camille, you rolled the twenties, so. You can go ahead and help Belle get into the harness. I will help her. Okay. As you do so, uh, she moves loudly as they start to pull the slack. She's going to have a lot of armpit issues. Because, uh, I, you know, she's That's probably 300 real. pounds and she's going up 150 feet. Uh, the Minotaur uh start doing something you can hear creaking and squeaking and all that shit um but the cow is <laughs> about five feet at a time oh, i can't believe we're lifting a cow i can't believe you're standing under the cow yeah no no we're that. not standing not don't under drop the cow i don't want to see that <laughs> Come on, Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. yeah. We just need a trebuchet. You know? So how how long do you want to wait or what do you want to do down here? Well, like, didn't you say you could get us back up? Oh, us? Yeah. Uh, or is it yeah, just you? I, well, I'll burn two spell slots. So <laughs> if we run into another demon, but... You know, I can get us back up. So. Sure, what it, the hell. Okay. Um, That's right, my pretties. Burn the spell slots. That's <laughs> okay, because I can always cast the thing on us and we can just wait it out. <laughs> well, I mean, if it wasn't for, for the arcane knowledge that I have, I mean, I am a rogue. I mean, my rogue skills are my wheelhouse. So <laughs> it's like, okay. So I cast Spider Climb and burn up my last two uh, spell slots that I have at that level, and up we go, I guess. Do you want to follow the cow or go past the cow and get up to safety? Probably go past the cow and get up to safety. <laughs> Camille? Sure. I mean, we uh, should be able to travel at 30 feet, I think. As you guys pass by the cow. Oh, they're not going to let the cow fall, are they? I don't want to see that. No, it's just, you know, it's moving up in the air currents. Okay. So oh, it's just okay. kind of spinning around a little bit. Uh, the closer you get to the top, the more you can hear the boys grunting. Uh, they can lift marble. Uh, but Belle here is a little bit on the heavy side. Uh, finally, She's you get thick. up. Yeah. You can tell Maurice has one end of the rope on this, and, you know, he's helping. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but these three managed to go ahead and get, they ha have uh, fastened uh, a couple of timbers into a makeshift winch here. Uh, and they get the cow lifted kind of reach out and give her a push and the cow starts to swing when she gets a suitable distance over the lip they let go of the rope she lands on the deck with a loud oh. wow you guys okay. are never going to get laid with that kind of attitude <laughs> want to bet your diamond on it <laughs> <laughs> no uh 
so okay so i assume that the the cow we can call her bell because <laughs> b-e-l <laughs> yeah i mean it's fair assessment yeah okay as uh, the bell rings uh maurice goes hey i recognize that noise i heard it on our ship did you have a cow on your ship oh i don't know i wasn't allowed to go on the lower decks oh okay maurice you're an asshole well <laughs> do you go to the kitchen on a cruise ship i've the never answer. been on one so i have no idea <laughs> we call that the rape deck so what? the what? answer's no you you don't you don't go on the employee decks ever 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 um so okay so this cal you think do do the letters b-e-l ring a bell <laughs> maurice the initials oh well, no idea what was the name of your ship uh i think it was the redoubt okay I know I've got it written down somewhere. I, I want to say Redoubt, but I'm not absolutely positive. I'd have to rewatch the uh, old episodes, which are available on the archive. Well, that's just lazy writing. That's just lazy writing. <laughs> I, well, I, I, I said this is cacophony, so there's a few pages in there, but I think it's I, the Redoubt. I say we take Bell back to our camp and the Minotaur feel that that is a superlative idea. Yeah, I can see where they're going with this. So <laughs> uh, now Maurice will point out that uh, we did get fresh milk while on the show. Do you think the ship might have survived or did you oh. see the ship actually go down? Now, there were pieces of the ship uh, when I washed the shore. Okay. Uh, maybe the cow made it. Stranger things have happened. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, in all your time here, you've never run across this cow before. <laughs> He's only been here uh, a couple more days more than you, maybe a week. But oh, yeah, okay. Okay. He, he has not run across this thing. I was expecting Tom Hanks from Castaway. <laughs> now, hasn't been here that long. Okay. I think I, I think I slated him for two weeks. Okay. Or ten days. All right. Well, if the cow survived, I mean, it's possible there were other survivors. That's true. Uh, I hadn't really. I mean, it is a big island. I've just scoped out the general areas. Yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> I look in the sky. What time of day does it seem? <laughs> uh, it's about, it's coming up on noon, maybe 11 uh, o'clock. Burn the whole day trying to get a cow off, <laughs> up the, the cliff. So, Well, we'll um, have fresh milk to drink. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So, uh, Bell, Bell will wander off and eat the grass. Okay. Man, what are the Minotaur doing? <laughs> Watching her walk away. Uh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> nice. nice. Steve. <laughs> it's the nice. Steve. That's the Steve. Uh, so yeah, I, we're back at camp and all that. So let's discuss what we're gonna do. I mean, it took us half a day to get up to the Caldera, so. Yep. I mean, do we want to go for it, or do we want to burn another day here? Keeping in mind that the Minotaur captain probably will not wait forever. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think we should should make another trek up and like do it now. We should be able to to reach it. I agree. Before it gets too late, so. So. Hey. Yeah. You guys climb up uh, with the experience that you had last time. And you know what? I just realized that I had this fucking map on the whole time. That's okay. Um, Nobody wants to look at us. That's true. Except for Steve. Uh, so uh, you guys make the climb. Do you mm -hmm. take the Minotaur and Lucinda? Yes. Yes. Okay. 
Uh, they have recovered the rope from the winch, uh, taken it with you. Uh, you guys get to the, the ring, the lip of the volcano, look down. Sure as shit, there's red hot lava down there. Okay. Let's do this. Let's cross <laughs> it over. Yep. Zadar's going to make the pitch in. Give me a d20. All right. Make it good. You may <laughs> add your like dexterity make modifier. Uh, what dexterity modifier? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, la, la, la. Okay. Uh, that would be 18. Uh, as you throw it right in the center of the volcano, uh, it splashes into the lava. But as the lava kind of jets up, the box comes up on it. The caldera turns to stone again. Oh. The pillar is 12 feet high. How One hard. of the Minotaurs looks at you and goes, did you mean to do that? No. <laughs> so, uh, How far down is it, the pillar, from the top? What, 250 minus 12? Feet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, yeah, let's go test the Caldera solid uh, foundation again and... Yeah, I'll try to get it off the... No, I thought it was just leave it here. You know, and go if back something bad down. happens here, we won't be here. Exactly. So, I mean, there's always that. <laughs> well, the Minotaurs don't know what it does if we open it, right? They have no idea. They have no idea. And hey, uh, in my best Dave Chappelle approach, uh, what about them there diamonds down there that uh, Maurice was talking about? You think there's more of that down there? It probably is. I'd say it's worth a look. Let's sure, why not? Yeah, they fashion knots in the rope every so often, throw it on down suggest that uh, everybody go down one at a time one of the minotaurs volunteers to go down first okay who wants to follow him down uh zadar will who's third (laughs) and four odd uh, lucinda even minotaur cock even minotaur lucinda will be the last one down Everybody roll dexterity at advantage. Okay. I'm going to use the big dice. The big dice, huh? All right. Uh, Zadar, with, uh, are we doing just straight Straight up dex mod? At at advantage. Okay. Uh, Yeah, with Zadar, uh, 21. Real? Uh, you go down gingerly and slow down the rest of the group uh maurice has an 18 on advantage i'm short you guys come on that pirate dog dice always rolls well for me uh everybody makes it down to the base the minotaur is already circling around the edge where where's the diamonds where's the diamonds well, they were in. They were on the sides last time. <laughs> Maurice will yell, "I'll show you! I'll show you!" Uh, you guys get down there. The entire caldera is stone. Uh, mm, pretty again, solid. Again, marble it has a whole marble look to it. Um, okay. And again, it's like a water spout mm-hmm. that is just like a flower, and the box is sitting right up there. Uh, the two minotaur get down immediately request maurice's attention those three meander off uh to where he found the cache last time uh let's see if they have any luck let's see if he finds it 19. he finds another cache of diamonds uh you two are at the base of this 
plume. Zadar will climb the plume and try to see, see if this is solid in there and can't like an immovable rod or some shit like that. Okay, dex check. Acrobatics. Acrobatics. Okay. Uh, all right, not bad. 17. Yeah, you climb up there. Uh, it's almost as if it were a hand, mm -hmm. but, but it's a plume. Uh, and as you get up there, you kind of inspect, look around. It would appear as though the box is just sitting on this stone plume. It is not embedded as it was before. Ah. Uh. All right, we got to take this back with us. I mean, there, there's no getting around that. So, yeah, I take a, open up my my backpack that's on my back, put the box back in, cinch it. As soon down. as you lift the box, you hear the Minotaurs yell, and Marcus Lucinda scream. Uh, give me perception, uh -oh. both of you. Uh, perception. Mm -hmm. uh, that would be 14. Mm, yeah, 14. Uh, you both notice that the three amigos are engaged with something that looks a lot like what you faced off with earlier. Put only it back. Put the box back. Smaller. Okay. <laughs> You're sure? I'll put the box <laughs> back. Does the demon go away? The demon disappears. I think we just need to leave it here. I think you might be right. So, all right. I'm done. I'm officially done. Let's just... Another scream is heard. Oh, shit. All right. Perception for check. Per perception check. Yep. All right. Uh, this time 20, not natural. 18. There are now two of those creatures. Oh, God damn it! And they are engaged with those three. Fortunately, Maurice has sandwiched himself between the two minotaurs who are swinging large axes at these things. The creatures are smoky and on fire. Uh, it will take you one round to get over there. Yeah, roll, yeah. <laughs> roll initiative. Oh, 19. God. Okay. 19. Uh, 14. I'm sorry, one more time, please. 19. And, and four, 14 for Zadar. Uh, the creatures pretty much light up the boys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, patches of hair uh, can be smelled burning, and uh, a large yell escapes the Minotaur, uh, who respond in kind. Uh, one of them misses, one of them hits. Not bad. New round. You guys are not there yet. The Minotaur will go after them again. Or, I'm sorry, the creatures will go after them again. This time, missing the Minotaurs. However, the flames just erupt off the bodies and do some more heat damage to the Minotaur. 19 is up. That is Camille. So I suppose they're all kind of together. Yes. Well, actually... Lucinda's up against a wall. The Minotaurs are flanking them, and then these lesser rage demons are attacking them. Mm. How far am I? Far away am I? Yeah, you could be sixty feet because you guys were headed that way. You can be closer if you wanted to be in melee range. It just depends on if you're running towards them or just meandering. Can I jump over to toward them? Oh yeah, not a problem at all. Okay. 
Is that the only action I get? Uh, yes, your movement. Okay. I'll, I'll give you one spell if you want to cast it. Not that I have anything good. Um, sure, I'll try Shocking Grasp. Reach out and put the touch on him. <laughs> it's like the guy on Tosh.0 with Taser. Uh, yes, yeah, 17 does hit. Are you going after one or two? Uh, I'll go after one. Okay. And, Damage. Uh, one to eight. Uh, seven. Zadar, you're up. Okay, Zadar's gonna let loose uh, three magic missile darts. Mm -hmm. uh, they hit for a three, a five, and a three. Uh, Eleven hit points on to who? One or two? Uh, <laughs> which Minotaur looks the worst for wear? Um, They're about equal, right? Equal, yeah. Yeah, okay, uh, number one, then. Fair enough. The Minotaurs will attack. <laughs> Nat 20s. Please. Nat 1. <laughs> oh, shit. And 11 plus, so the other one will hit. Uh, you see a great axe clatter across the caldera as one Minotaur is now weaponless. Uh, oh, the other one hit me. The other one connects quite well. Uh, Maurice is uh, yelling, let me at him, let me at him. Uh, but the two Minotaur keep hip checking him, uh, to keep him safe. Top of the order, uh, since you guys have now entered combat, uh, odd Minotaur even you, Zadar. Even Zadar will be the target, Camille. Even Camille will be the target. Uh, the rage demons will give off. 1d6 fire to everybody. So everybody this round takes three hit points of damage, including the Minotaur. Um, uh, claw, odd, hurl, flame, even, Zadar, odd, claws, odd. You know what? Same rolls twice, uh, fours and sevens. Uh, so they are going to claw at each of you. Uh, Zadar. I'm going to do the uncanny dodge shit. <laughs> Doesn't matter. That's an eight. Mm -hmm. uh, and that is a five. So the claw attacks both miss. Camille, you are up again. So are the demons in front of me? You have them sandwiched. They are in front of you and in front of the Minotaur. So you have them in pincer moves. But you and Zadar are attacking the same one. <clears throat> you can do it. I guess I'll try Shocking Grasp again. Sure. Uh, shit. Seven. Don't touch. He pops his legs apart and you get nothing but testicle air. Zadar, you're up. I hope he washes. All right. Uh, Zadar is going to cast Chromatic Orb. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, does uh, 15 hit? 15 does hit. Okay. And that is going to be uh, 17 points of frost damage. Same one? Mm hmm. Uh, got it. Uh, the Minotaur on one. Uh, 19 with the gore because he doesn't have an axe. Five on the other. So the gore is moderately effective. 
Uh, top of the order, odd evens, Nar. Uh, even again, Camille. Odd, uh, they will return back to the other one. Uh, on Zadar, who, uh, oh, odd, so claws. Uh, 21 to hit you. Everybody yeah. also takes four hit points of radiant fire. Okay. And Zadar, you get clawed for three hit points across the neck. Okay. Uh, Camille, you are not in target. The Minotaur, however, has been hit. And odd even. Odd yet again for the claws. You guys are getting lucky. Uh, but it takes four hit points of damage and screams in pain as he's starting to wear thin. Uh, top of the order has come and gone. That brings us back to Camille. Where's everybody in relation to me? Sandwich time, baby. I'm going to hit it with my quarterstaff. Sure. What the hell? Fifteen? Yep, that hits. And... D6 minus one? Yes. Well, it says D6 plus zero. Oh, okay. Four. Mm. Okay, Zadar. Okay, uh, Zadar is going to make a scimitar attack. Sure. Uh, fifteen to hit. Hits. Okay. And uh, the the scimitar only does oh uh ten points of damage. Sorry, the dice wouldn't finish rolling. Uh, this demon. Disappears in a puff of black smoke. Uh, the minotaur that was on it runs over and grabs his axe. That is his movement, or that is his action. The other one connects. Ooh, not bad. Slices him open nicely. Hopefully, the demon. <laughs> Top of the order, only one demon left. It's going to go after only three of you available as the other Minotaur is charging back. Six, it's going after the Minotaur. Odd even. Jesus, claws, odd. That hits. Uh, everybody takes three radiant heat damage. Ooh. Uh, your Minotaur friend is not looking at all well. He takes a knee. Camille, one rage demon left. Is it in front of me? Just over to the side. On the other side of him is the kneeling Minotaur. You're just making it difficult. Yep, the DM's a dick. Yeah, he is. I know, I'm married to him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See the abuse you take. <laughs> I'm making it easy for you guys. <laughs> I'll just do what I've been doing. Okay. Well, son of a bitch. 11. Nope. Swing and a miss as he lifts his testicles away from your grass. Uh, Zadar, you're up. Okay, do I get sneak attack on this one? Why Since does a rage demon even have testicles? You do get sneak attack because it has not engaged you yet. Okay. Uh, Are they old again? man testicles? <laughs> they're they old angle? man testicles. Yeah, they're dagos. You can use them as bolas here in a second. Jeez. Jeez, uh, that you, should be a disadvantage right there. Yep. Uh, yes, 15 hits. Okay. The scimitar attack is uh, 10 points. Okay. Followed by the sneak attack. For an additional 14 points, 24 points. Not looking good. Uh, the Minotaur's attack. 
not a winner. Uh, 12 needs the 13. Huh? Top of the order, uh, the Rage Demon will go after. There's now four of you as the minute the other Minotaur gets here. Nope, Zadar. Odd claw. God, you guys are lucky. <laughs> uh 16 uh 16 does not hit there you go camille you're up mm -hmm. Fuck. Yes. i miss Loser! <laughs> you're up no sneak attack this time yeah no sneak attack so uh yeah straight <laughs> guitar attack uh 18 to hit. 18 hits. Okay. Uh, eight points slashing dam damage. And he's going to make his offhand attack. Oh, by the way, everybody take five radiant heat damage this time. Okay. Right uh, 13. Does a 13 hit? 13 is what you need to hit. Okay. And that's the offhand. <laughs> uh let's see for seven more points of of piercing damage uh the minotaur on his knees swings his axe up the minotaur charging swings his axe down but black smoke fills the air as zadar's second attack is enough to sunder the rage demon uh the minotaur on the knee Thank you, my friend. I, I appreciate that. Will you be okay? Should we visit Bell? <sighs> I am not in the mood for Bell right now. <laughs> uh, you, you can tell he's got scorch marks everywhere. Yeah. He got the shit beat out of him. Uh, Marcus Lucinda also has scorch marks because of radiant heat damage, uh, yeah. but he has not been clawed. Okay. Let's uh, get the hell out of here. Yes. So. Yeah, you catch your breath, whatever, yeah. and then we'll make a slow climb out. What about your box? That fucking box Leave is in here. <laughs> really? Do you want to take it? I'm afraid two more demons. If I touch that box, I'm afraid two more demons will show up. Every time I've touched that box, a demon's appeared. Uh. Maurice says, well, what if we swing the rope to you and pull you out of there if you want to take the box? I'll let them work that out in your head, but I mean, I'm all for it, but I don't it, want to spawn. De it depends if you want to recover the box. If they climb up and then you take the rope, grab the box, they will jerk you up and out. Fine. Maurice has his own reasons. Okay. Great. All right. All right. I, Zadar reluctantly agrees to it. So uh, it's slow going because Minotaur Two is pretty beat up. Right. Uh, he uh, he gets up there. Camille. <clears throat> he. Uh, Kind of hem haws about it, but he says, uh, you, you, you might want to help us pull your friend up and out. Yeah, that's fine. I'm a, I'm a little I mean, bit I know sore. you guys, like, took a beating. Uh, so, Zadar, they try and give you enough slack uh, mm -hmm. to carry it over. Go ahead and D12 against me. Okay. This is going to go bad. I mean, Zadar's in, in female form, so he should be a little lighter. Uh, that's a nine three uh yes there's enough slack that you can take it climb up the the pedestal and uh pick up the box again okay but how fast are we going to be able to yank him out of there well uh the lead minotaur minotaur one says get ready because you probably get slammed into the wall um, okay. Scary rock. 
I'm holding on to it. <laughs> okay. Are you gonna and when I see that wall coming up on me, I'm going to use my reaction and shield. <laughs> Well, now you got to hang on to. to yeah, that's it. true. I need a yeah. free hand to cast. Okay. Yeah, and you got okay. you got the football and the rope. They're yeah. Never hands. mind. I'm going to take the wall. <laughs> uh, you guys will have discussed this. When they see you grab the box, they will give you the yank. Okay. D twelve against me to see if they time it correctly. Eight. Uh. One. Oh my god. Fair enough. Uh you're looking around, looking around, reach down, grab a hold of the box, tuck it underneath your arm, hold on to it. Uh fissures fill the caldera once again. The pedestal starts to crack, uh, and you kind of drop a little bit just as they yank the rope. Uh you go careening towards a set of jagged rocks uh, and you brace for impact as you take 11 hit points of damage as they drag you up and over the gash. Uh, oh. However, uh, Camille, you will not be the first one in the rope line and you will hear Minotaur number one scream out an obscenity and yell out faster, 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 faster. Uh, DV or er, uh, Zadar, roll a survival check oh, as yeah. the rope <laughs> rakes across the jagged rocks. Okay. Uh, survival. Mm -hmm. Oh man, man, man. Uh, seven. Nope. You're going to take another set of damage. Six more hit points as the jagged rocks tear at your face. Give me a straight up d20 roll, please. Okay. 15. No modifiers Man or anything. You managed to hang on to the box and the rope. You are getting dragged up. You can hear screams and feel little fireballs going past you uh sure. there will there will be oh in the cat dish yep uh there will be three of these fireball balls at you you know what let's use the big boys oh no! shit no uh that's disappointing. Good. Uh, two, 14, and nine as the fireballs, small fireballs, not big fireballs, uh, smash into the rocky uh, uh, the face of it, shattering you with pebbles. Uh, the Minotaurs, Camille, and Maurice do manage to pull you up and out just as the caldera once again explodes. You guys all take cover, but hear a very gleeful Maurice exclaim, yay, more stones for me. <laughs> uh, everybody checks in. Minotaur number two is fucking hurt bad. Minotaur so bizarre. One, yeah, Minotaur one is okay. Camille, how are you? Eh. And Zadar is hurt. Uh, yeah. Maurice seems to be fine. Uh, and he is uh, the entire way down gleeful at the spread of these marvelous marvel hunks of stone. Can I stab him? <laughs> That's my job. Sure, stab the guy that's not hurt you at all. Uh, uh, no, you not get, you get to, that's suspicious right there. You get to the bottom of the volcano. It is dinner time. Uh, and along with the injuries, the Minotaur are kind of concerned about the ship. Yeah, I am too. It's been four days. Yeah. Uh, do you want to camp out and recover hit points? eat the last of the owlbear or do a 
trek across the dark open space to go back to the ship. What are the Minotaur leaning towards? They are very concerned about the, about ship. the ship. I think we should try to make it to the ship. I agree. No clouds. It is clear and the moonlight guides your way across. It will take you quite a bit of time to trek across uh, but by mid-morning, 3 a.m.-ish, uh, mm -hmm. you will reach the coastline. Who wants to do the investigation role? Zadar will do it. Then that means Camille D12s against me. <sighs> uh, I'm not lucky. Zadar for his investigation? Uh, uh, 23. Uh, you see the Minotaur sh ship turning around and starting to leave. Crap. Yell at them. Too far away. Do you have any spells that will make noise or illumination? Uh, thunder wave. <laughs> That's a lot loud, audible noise. <laughs> um, see either that. How far away is it? Maybe a sixteenth of a mile. All right. Uh, since I've summoned Omen, oh I've dismissed him, so I'm just going to summon him and send Omen <laughs> after it. Hopefully, he can catch it. <laughs> what is your range? A mile. Okay. Uh, D12 against me. I mean, that I can connect to him. He can keep going, but... Right. Uh, what is it? D12 against D12 you? D12 against me? Okay. Uh, nine. Ten. The ship continues to move off and the mood deepens. Uh, the Minotaur asks if you want to get in the longboat and see if you can <laughs> catch up. We can try. <laughs> you guys load up and uh, Maurice says, what about Belle? She'll be fine until we get back. Yeah. Uh, the longboat gets pushed out. The Minotaur noticeably in a lot of pain uh, mm. asks if you guys can help steer. Yeah. Well yeah I'll help row and steer or whatever. Uh, you guys. It has a sail, doesn't it? Isn't it the kind of longboat that has a sail? No. No. Not, not this one. So as you guys start to row out, uh, you don't make very much progress at all. However, you notice the ship starting to turn. Towards us? Back towards you. Uh, okay. In about an hour, uh, it will rendezvous with you and the captain will be quite upset. I was about to say, Zadar has prestidigitation. Mm -hmm. You could send up like a spark or something like that. Maybe not a flare, but enough to see. But anyway, they spotted us and they're coming back, right? Hopefully. Oh, it's a clear night. They can see in the moonlight. Okay. All right. Uh, the captain begins to lambast the two sailors who uh, have just had the shit kicked out of them. They're pretty beaten up. They really don't care. Uh, Wait, plus, Minotaur? Yeah. Uh, How Maurice. Did, why did they even turn around? Maurice, because Omen. Oh. Uh, Maurice says, let me handle this. He'll sweeten the deal, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Do you guys want to let Maurice handle it? Sure. Yeah. Let him At try. this point. My good man, excuse our tardiness. Uh, we were on a recovery mission. Apparently, the volcano was not enough to handle this box item that uh, my friends uh, were trying to destroy. So uh, we apologize for our tardiness. The Minotaur captain looks at him, keeping in mind that he does not know who this guy is, and asks, who the fuck are you? So Maurice goes into a long dissertation 
and notices that the Minotaur captain's interest is fading. And then he reaches into his pocket and hands him a handful of diamonds worth 600 gold pieces. The captain's mood softens accordingly. Nice. Looks at Odd Even, Odd Zadar. Uh, where to? Grand Academy. Very well. Okay. Two days later, you arrive at the Grand Academy. The wounds have been healed on the Minotaur. Maurice uh, Lucinda has made himself rather scarce, keeping close to the pair of Minotaurs that uh, you are familiar with, uh, probably making some backroom deal. Uh, oh, you, arri you arrive at the Grand Academy, and you are met by... Uh, not Theseus, not Poindexter, uh, Richie. <laughs> yes, Richie, uh, the individual that uh, was your footman earlier. Mm -hmm. uh, and he inquires if your mission was successful. No, it was not. We're not sure. Hmm. We I need see to that. talk to Mortimer. Uh, How is Mortimer? Uh, Professor Sneed is not present at the moment. Is he still alive? We assume so. Did he time travel again? He time traveled again. When is that man going to learn? <laughs> we anticipate his return at any time. Sure, because it's time travel. Uh, an acrid smell reaches you, and you hear <laughs> as Marty McFly comes through on the time machine. Yeah, the DeLorean uh, comes flying at us. <laughs> only two people are in the circle. Uh, one is Zephyr, who has a big white streak through her hair. Uh, and the other is Mortimer, who looks like he's been smoking 12 packs of cigarettes every day for 25 years. Keith Richards? He looks kind of Keith Richards. -y. Oh, no. He does not look good. He exclaims, Eureka! Success again! And immediately storms off towards his uh, building, completely ignoring the fact that you guys are here. Zephyr picks herself up and shakes her head. I need to talk to you guys. Zephyr, what happened? <laughs> he went back, I don't know, 50, 75. I, I'm not... I don't even know. I don't even know where we were at. We were somewhere. I don't know. Some small town. What happened? Uh, he's, he got into an argument. There was a fight. We barely escaped with our lives. He cannot continue to time travel because it is tearing him up. If I can get his amulet can you guys figure out a way to destroy it or get rid of it or do something with it? Not very good at destroying well, things right now. We'll for, try. But we'll take his amulet from him. Well, he, he won't let you near him. Uh, I, I can go ahead and do it. Okay. He wouldn't let us even uh, talk to him? He's not in his right mind anymore. Yeah, but I mean, could we remind him of times gone by like the blacksmith lady that he boned he is not himself at all oh all right all right we'll rely on you for that i will get the amulet but i i don't know i i don't know how to destroy it I, maybe somebody here would know 
festivals. But tonight. I will get I will get it tonight, and I will get it to you first thing in the morning. Okay. okay. All right. Uh, it's about evening meal time. Uh, what do you? Point Dexter do? was aware of all this, right? Uh, the box, everything. He was in on it, right? Mm hmm. We need to talk talk to Point Dexter. Sure. Point Dexter Docomo. Mm hmm. Uh, you can get directions. You'll be able to find him. He's in that freaking fortification. In that, that bunker. Yeah, he's in the bunker, right now. Uh, he's wearing some kind of monocle that really amplifies his eye uh, and asks what he can do for you. We tried to destroy both items. Point Dexter didn't work. Are we boring you? Yes. Sorry. Um, but... Well, Mortimer just said to leave it on the island, didn't he? I thought he said destroy it. <laughs> Was there anybody else on the island? Well, there was. <laughs> now there's, there's a just a cow. Would anybody find it if you hid it there? Uh, That's my point. Nobody knows. Yeah. I mean, nobody knows, but I mean, we can put it in a place it's going to do whatever it did again and we're just going to freaking leave it there if we go back and do this okay well i'm glad i could help thank you <laughs> so all right so camille and i will have a meeting <laughs> we'll have a meeting to figure out what the hell to do sure so we'll we'll discuss about the amulet, maybe taking the amulet with us, toss the amulet in first, then the case. Sure. So you know, that's your plan. I mean, is the captain gonna gonna go for it? Yeah, the captain's him? got other things to do, but if you pay him, he'll go ahead and take you there. I mean, okay. you just gave him six hundred gold pieces and diamonds, so yeah. Kind of yeah, feels obligated. We'll 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 try we'll try to plead our case to the captain and say we got to give it another shot and we're just gonna leave we're just we just gotta take care of this and we're gonna go we're not gonna stay any longer than we have to. Sure, that's fine. Uh, the captain says he will go. He will wait one day, uh, mm -hmm. but then he has to go south. Okay. All right. So, uh, you guys can eat, you guys, uh, I don't care, socialize if you want. Point, yeah. Dex Point Dexter Docamel will approach you uh -huh. and point out that if you're going to leave it on the island, you should have it in a very safe space. I know the perfect space. Okay. Uh, you also notice that Maurice has found a friend. Someone that he's known or someone that he's getting to know? Someone that he is getting to know. Maurice has found a female friend. Okay. Well, we'll mention that to Camille. <laughs> she, she heard it. Hmm. So Maurice has a friend that he's chatting away with and the two minute excuse me the two minotaur are with him as well they seem to be hatching a plan <laughs> okay does uh maurice want to return to the island yes he wishes to show his new friend Ketel uh the island and all of its value okay the Minotaur have decided to accompany him because the 600 gold pieces in diamonds is not the only diamonds that he found. I know. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we'll, um, yeah, we'll plan the, the next trek uh, back to the island. 
as you guys are discussing your plans, a raving lunatic runs in. Mortimer J. Sneed is buck ass naked and <laughs> painted himself blue. Nice. He's Celtic. He's screaming that the Kurdish warriors uh, have taken his prized possession and he is going to declare war on them. Uh, Mortimer is tackled by security uh, and secured. Uh, who is Semp is the head of the academy. Uh, she orders no one to discuss this at all and follows the guards with Mortimer back to his chambers. A moment later, you notice that Zephyr has been hiding in the shadows. And she, if I notice her, I mean, Zadar's going to notice her. <laughs> she, uh, even she uh, comes over to Camille, puts out her hand. And you are now in possession of the time travel amulet. Camille, what is going or I'm sorry, Zephyr, what is going on? If he keeps time traveling, he's going to kill us all. Well, I have the amulet, so I won't let him have it. But is there any way to make him better? I assume time would make him better. I don't know who to ask. Yeah, I mean, this is, Maybe I don't know. if we took him. I mean, this is the Grand Academy. You have the smartest minds in the world here. He's in good hands for whatever. This is like Purdue University. No. Because <laughs> they lost their accreditation almost. Almost. Um, He's in the best hands here, Camille. I mean, there's stuff no, we can not. do. With. They don't know what they're doing what are we going to do we don't know what we're doing what is your plan we need to go to the gnomish library that i agree but we gotta get gotta get rid of what we got so we have to do that first well we don't have to tell anybody that we have it I mean, how many people know that we have what we have? Four. <laughs> so, two of them aren't us. Mm hmm So, who's the other two? The Minotaurs? Mm, Maurice, oh, the, the two Minotaurs. Uh, four Floyd of Dexter. them now. So, there's five people that know. Oh, and uh, Semp. She also knows. Yeah. Okay, well, I'd consider her negligible. Yeah, the head of the Grand Academy is probably nothing. No, I'm just saying people that we need to worry about what we have. If uh, I talk to Stamp, can I inquire about a magic item? Sure. Um, I just, if anything, if any are available at the Academy, I'm looking for... A bag that I've heard of that's an extra dimensional space. D12 against me. Okay. Nine. One. Yes, I have one of those. Why do you need it? It can be very dangerous. They can. Um, you have some things that we need to keep secured. I can let you borrow it. I would like it back. Well, you can have it as long as you keep the items in it safe. I thought Zadar was taking it. No. Uh, I'm just being an asshole. No, I, I tell her I'll, I shall return this to you once our, we figure out what to do. That's fine. Uh, she will loan it out to you then. Okay. So, uh, when Zadar's got like some privacy or whatever, you know, I don't just, he's going to go somewhere or whatever, put the amulet in the, the box in there. 
Okay. Uh, Alex. Camille, did you want anything from her? I don't think so. Okay, fair enough. Uh, so are you taking Mortimer or no? I mean, how are we going to travel with a crazy man? We have to take him. And and what, Camille? That's the thing. Just I mean, wrap him up. But what is our? How are we going to care for Mortimer? I mean, are we going to try to find somebody that can help him? I don't know. Our DM is leaving. Oh, I'm oh. here. <laughs> I'm kidding. All right, I'm just listening. I mean, should we make that our mission? I mean, I'm all for saving Mortimer, but I mean, I I don't know what magic is out there. Well, so we have the box secured, correct? Sure. Uh huh. And the amulet. Okay, and we trust that. We don't have to worry about it. No. Okay. Then, Unless somebody takes the bag of holding, but they're not going to know what's in it. Then I think we need to figure out what's going on with Mortimer, because if we do, then probably when he's better, he could help us figure this out. Okay. So, so you the think that Go ahead. Oh, so you think the answer lies at the Domish Library? That's my guess. I mean, supposedly it's the best library ever. Better than the me, 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 high elves. But as Zephyr pointed out, the best minds in the world are here. So The best minds are, that doesn't mean the best minds have all the information that they need. Right. Your Weezer is right, Weezer. to the... <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. That was awesome. Um, I'm going to have one last meeting with with Semp sure. to discuss Mortimer. Sure. And in the course of our discourse, I'm going to ask her: Is there something that can be done for him here? Is there magic in the world that could help him? Well, I figured we she would know. <laughs> we aren't really sure what's wrong with him. We know that he cannot time travel anymore. Well, um, I've secured that. Well, if he gets his hands on it, you can yeah. expect a fight. That's true. Um, um, we can care for him uh, while you guys go seek out an answer. He may get better on his own. Uh, okay. He may not. We, we just do not know. Right. Okay. But it um, looks like time travel dementia. If, My asshole husband. I mean, from from what I know I about about people that are demented, this, this seems, yeah. <clears throat> Zephyr um, will not go with you. No, I didn't think so. Uh, it's it's entirely up to you if you want to take a crazy man uh, with you on your adventure. You may find the answer uh, in Andorra at the library. Uh, if you do, then you'd have to come all the way back. Uh, it's just hard to say. I, I cannot tell you one way or another. But the captain's right. ready to leave first thing in the morning uh, to drop off Maurice uh and his new friend along with losing to crewmen uh they're gonna stay on the island huh they're gonna stay on the island i guess they want that cow or the diamonds oh. um diamonds okay aren't important if you can't sell them yeah i will have to have a meeting with it. do we want to leave camille do we want to leave the box on the island I think that's okay for now. If we leave it, if anybody tries to touch it, they're going to spawn those 
is rage demon. So I would say it's pretty. I say it's pretty damn secure. So. So yeah. Okay. So we'll are, we that take, are we taking Mortimer? No. I have one no, one yes. Yeah. I'll, I'll tell you what. We will discuss that next time. Okay. Uh, as you guys filter around the options. Uh, He's not David, arguing with Camille. He's just pleading his case. He says it is going to be hard taking a crazy man with us everywhere we go. That's true. So, David, what would you think? I enjoyed it. Yeah, it was a very RP kind of thing, one encounter, but yeah, it was it was good. Uh, Carrie, what'd you think? I liked it. It was. I good. think the, I think the DM is leaving us enough rope to hang ourselves. So. Of course he is. <laughs> the, the, these are the options that you have, uh, just he's like my when you husband. left. Yeah, just when like when you left Cacophony, mm -hmm. you had eight jobs. You chose one. Uh, oh. Folks, this has been Murder Hobo Inc., the Cacophony Edition. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget to follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about D&D, &D, join our Discord. If you want to be on the show like Saturday's One Shot, M Hobo Inc., Twitter or Gmail, hit us up. We will get you on there. Saturday is a third level. And if you watch Between the Rolls, you may even have an idea of what I have planned. It's hard to say. Uh, <laughs> we'd like to thank Pirate Dog Dice for dice that didn't fuck with these guys too bad. Too and of much. course, Adventure Sense. Uh, I'm sure they have some kind of volcanic ash scent that you can pick up. Don't forget to check out their How to RPG with Your Cat Kickstarter live right now. Uh, folks, it's been a long day. Uh, thanks for joining us, and we will see you on Saturday for the one shot. Everybody, kiss and wave. Mwah. Bye, everybody. Bye bye. Cacophony, the adventure continues. Bye.